In this session, we are going to solve one problem on DMA, direct memory access. This problem came in the year 2011, get. So, we know that whenever we are going to solve any problem on DMA, that means we are going to solve a problem on data transfer, data transfer between memory and the I.O. devices. Actually, we can have two types of data transfer. One is the interrupt driven data transfer and the one is the DMA data transfer. And obviously, we should expect some betterment in the DMA architecture because DMA is actually meant for the data transfer operation. So, whenever these sort of questions uh, will come, you will find that in the most of the cases, they are asking for the speed up ratio. So, what is the speed up ratio? That means, uh, you can consider in this way that DMA data transfer rate by interrupt driven data transfer rate for the same problem. So, you are going to get the ratio known as the speed up ratio. Let me discuss this problem at first. So, on a non pipeline process processor, a program segment which is the part of interrupt service routine is given to transfer 500 bytes from I O device to memory. So, 500 bytes of information is to be transferred from the I O device to the memory. So, now this is the problem. Initialize the address register, initialize the count to 500. So, address register means I think from the location from where I am supposed to perform memory read or memory write operation. So, that address of the memory must be kept in the address register. Initialize the count to 500, load a byte from the device stored in memory as address given in address register. So, here actually you are doing memory write, reading data from the device and writing it onto the memory. Increment the address counter, obviously the next byte will be coming to the next address. Decrement the counter, I think 500 bytes of information are to be transferred. So, I am decrementing the counter and if the count is not equal to 0, that means if the counter has got not exhausted then go to loop, loop is nothing but a label, loop is nothing but a label. So, here it is going and it will go on repeating the process for 500 number of times. So, that is the problem. So, problem statement is very simple I think. Load and store instructions take 2 clock cycles and other instructions 1 clock cycle. So, that means Initialize, initialize 1, 1, load will be taking 2, store will be taking 2 clock cycles, increment 1, decrement 1, count 1. I think in this way the things will take the shape. Okay. DMA can also implement the same transfer. So, it is interrupt driven or now it is a DMA driven. DMA takes 20 nanosecond, DMA takes 20 nanosecond and 2 nanosecond for his initial setup. So, 20 nanoseconds for the initial setup and preparation, 20 nanosecond. So, irrespective of the volume of data it is supposed to transfer, 20 nanosecond will be spent for the initialization and preparation of the DMA and 2 nanosecond to transfer 1 byte from memory to the device or from the device to the memory. So, 20 bytes for the initial 20 nanosecond for the initial setup and 2 nanosecond for transferring 1 byte of information in between memory and device respectively. Calculate the approximate speed up ratio between DMA transfer and interrupt driven transfer of data. So, they have given 4 options. So, I told you that DMA related problems either it will ask what is the total transfer time or it will ask regarding the speed up ratio. So, how to solve this uh, sort of problem? Okay, let me tell you. So, uh, for the first instruction, I can write in this way. Let us let us suppose this is my instruction number one. This is a two. This is my three. This is a four. This is a five. This is six, and this is seven. Okay. Okay. Good. So, I'm having this one, two, three, four, five, six and 7. Okay. Now, you see these two instructions are outside of the loop. So, this body will get executed, this body will get executed for 500 times. So, that is the general skeleton of the program 500 times. Okay. 
because the loop is holding the 500 okay done next this instruction instruction takes one clock second because it is not load and store this instruction will take we initialize one clock second this instruction is load and next one is store so two clock cycles and then it will be taking two clock cycles okay and rest are increment decrement if so they will be taking one clock cycles cycle each so one clock cycle each so that is the clock count now for okay now i am going for say interrupt driven interrupt driven transfer will take how much time will take how much time so that is 1 plus 1 they are outside of the loop and then i shall go for 500 into 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 so that is the total okay let me check so that is my 2 uh, that is 500 into 2 plus 2 4 plus 1 5 plus 1 6 so this one so it will be taking uh, 2 plus 2 4 plus 1 okay let me check once so oh three instructions are there here so i should put another three another one here because it is 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 okay now let me go for this so what will be the value then that will be 3 5 0 2 so what is this this is a interrupt driven transfer time so this amount of time it will take so obviously its unit will be nanosecond now let me go for the dma transfer how to calculate the time for the dma transfer so dma DMA best transfer time will be equal to so 20 for the initial setup 20 for the initial setup and then 500 into 2 why it is taking 500 into 2 because 500 times the loop will execute and it has been mentioned that it takes 2 nanosecond to transfer 1 byte from memory to device so 2 nanosecond i should not consider all these details because dma will take over the charges it will do the needful data transfer so now its value will be 1020 nanosecond so if you ask me to calculate the speed up ratio so if you ask me to calculate the speed up ratio that is interrupt driven transfer and dma uh, dma driven transfer ratio so I shall take DMA driven, uh, the interrupt driven transfer by DMA driven transfer. So it will be 3502 and it will be 1020. If we go on calculating, you can find it will be 3.4. It will be 3.4. So this is the answer. This is the answer I'm getting. So that is the 3.4, 4.4, 5.1 and 6.7 are far from this so I, I'll, I shall be going for 3.4 in this way the speed up ratio time can be calculated so only interrupt driven time interrupt driven transfer only dma driven transfer their ratio so i think all aspects have got covered in this particular problem so please watch the respective video on dma for the better understanding thanks for watching this one